So we're doing a short video of the 56 panel truck here and uh, we're going to do a walk around video. We just started the car up here and so we've got the Chef small block. Uh, the car is air conditioning, power steering. We're going to walk around the switch is spot. And that's what a power converter? Yeah. And a dual battery which is kind of neat. I like that. Oh, a deep cycle battery. Yeah, so uh, a, few, a, few, a few dress up. Looks like they did some nice work with the radiator. Looks like a pretty heavy duty radiator cooler. So we're going to do a little, uh, we can close that and I'm going to do a little walk around of the car. So um, this car was you represent it as being professionally built, I think at a rod shop down in northern and southern California. Um, it was used by the current owner as a commercial kind of weekend sort of uh, business with the Milkman's Daughter Cheese Store. Um, I might have you, again, one of the features of this truck is this uh, swing out uh, door system, which is uh, really kind of cool. So how do you operate it? Just pull that thing out? Like that. Custom built. Custom built. And this has a pretty heavy duty capacity, I imagine. Yeah, 1,200 pounds. 1,200 pounds. So um, the, uh, the current owner has the receipts for this, both the, the parts and the build and installation. Again, it's pretty impressive. I really like the kind of gray cloth yeah. interior and then up front, it's almost like aircraft aluminum headliner system and uh, power bucket from a American 70s or 80s car probably for the power bucket seats. So that's a pretty slick system. And the dual doors. Okay, well we'll close those guys. Give that to you. So we'll just walk around a little bit. Um, front end's been lowered. I just got a lot of photos underneath the custom dual exhaust system. Uh, the owner just said to handle uh, kind of the weight on the back, they put in coil springs uh, or shocks along with uh, the, uh, the, the standard leaf spring system. So I thought we'd hop in it and take a little spin. Okay. I like some custom touches here. Pull out handles. You know, where some of the areas that we've noticed that some of the body work when the car was restored, they could have done a better work, some low areas finishing, but you can see the power buckets. I like the Ford heater system, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, so, they didn't finish it particularly well, but okay. it's good. Works good. And that's a custom dash, of yeah. some, which is kind of cool with the gauges. Yeah. And is that like a tilt column? Yes. Uh, tilt column? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's pretty slick. Yeah. That's one of my favorite parts. It's like being in an old vintage airplane. Oh, do that again. Oh, that's neat. Tilt column. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just beautiful, the curved yeah. dash, and they did a nice job with that. Yeah. Again, this was my favorite parts up here. It's just great. I just love that. And you can see they did a pretty nice uh, quality of finish in the interior. Um, do all kinds of stuff with this hobby truck. Use a commercial application. Could go camping back there with a. It'd be interesting. So, power disc brakes. Yep. Um, up the hill here. We're out in the. All right, so are you officially in the Fall City or unincorporated King County? Unincorporated King yeah. County. Right. I love the exhaust sound of this truck. It's got a great sound to it. And it's a automatic turbo 300, 350 or 400. 350 or 400. Yeah, one of those two. Cool. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe just uh, wherever you can turn around and head back. Um, yeah. We're not any near any 
terrific highway system of any. No. We're up here in the foothills. Here oh, this would be great. Foothills of. Uh, I've never really been up this road before. They also put a shift kit in this. Oh, I don't know I like if you that. could it tell. Great. Yeah. So how high does this road does it go? Quite high up into the mountain. It does. Oh, really? Quite a ways. There's a lot of houses back up. Wow, there. that's interesting. I've noticed there's a mountain biking area that we're hiking on the, some trail. Is that the yeah. Snoqualmie Trail, the old railroad right away, or something? Yeah. That gets uh, that gets a lot of attention there. <laughs> Last yeah. time I was up, there was just crowded with mountain bikers. I think these those are the people that own the Creek Oh, the okay. So aftermarket air conditioning system and yeah. that, that seemed to work? Yeah, oh, great. good actually. AM FM cassette, so we're back in the 80s and 90s <laughs> there a little bit, which is, we still have a lot of cassettes sitting around our place, but. Um, the color of this truck, is it, it's a kind of an ivory? It's called uh, Ford White. Oh, it's wow. It's the official color, Ford White. Wow. What if it's like that Wimbledon yeah. Yeah. Ford White yeah. that's on all these Mustangs? So it's easy, probably an easy, uh, easy to color, match. Easy to match it. color, and the graphics are vinyl I lettering. The, I love the white. Yeah, yeah it's, it's custom graphics. Yeah. Uh, by a, a firm out in Monroe that, that is actually a client of ours, and they. Oh really? That's all they do. Um, so they're just they're just applied. They right. Be, Easy to take Remove, off if, yeah. you, if you want, if I right. recall. Right. Speakers down there, which is kind of fun. I like the custom door handle. Yeah. Very slick. Yeah. You know, high quality stuff and the old mirror. A lot of really nice custom touches. Well, I'm gonna. That's just a nice little short driving video with the with the owner of the car, and uh, this is Jim from Giordano's Vintage Motors.